we talked about now assistant prosecution. We talked about the uh, the Quaker, your time at Kent Tusk that continues. You're also the uh, Tuscola Park Foundation. That's that's a newer foundation that you are the president of. <laughs> yes. Um, the, the Tuscola Park Foundation is really born out of my involvement with the New Philadelphia Parks and Recreation Board. Um, I have served on that board, I'm going to say, 10 years approximately. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure when it, when it began. And um, that is a labor of love. I mean, I, I absolutely, you don't want to see challenges come up, but it's one of those organizations that if it comes up, it is something to tackle. You know, sure. it is something that, that brings, makes it interesting. What's and, a challenge? Oh, the clearly the biggest challenge since I have been on the board has been the development of the Southside Community Park, without a doubt. Oh, that's a buzzword um, right now, too. Yes, the Southside Community Park was probably the reason, one of the main reasons I was even um, asked to be on the board when there was an opening, as I think it was known that I was one of the people that was uh, using the park in its early stages, and... Um, once asked to be on it, I easily said yes. I'd like love to help out. Uh, little did I know, though, that it would uh, take a number of years to get to the point in which we were making progress on the south side. And um, thankfully, um, it is taking off. If anyone uh, uh, doubts me, I would say drive down Old Town Valley Road in New Philadelphia, and when you get to the corporation limit, you're going to see significant changes taking place. Yeah, explain this park to me. I mean, we got Tuscarora Park. People say, why do we need another uh, miniature train? Well, because the Southside Community Park is something really entirely different than what New Philadelphia has already. We have a beautiful park. We have maybe the greatest, uh, probably the greatest municipal park in Tuscora Park. But um, the the city of New Philadelphia already owned uh, a number of, of acres of unused property on the south side of New Philadelphia when I came onto the board. And there was always talk of at uh, one time of it being utilized for athletic purposes and wisely we uh, you know took taking uh, the the advice from our, our president at that time uh, was Don Kemp and our, our mayor at that time Joel day uh, said let's get let's you know don't don't just dive into it we will do some focus groups find out what the community wants how can we best use this property and we did that, and we found that there were interests outside of athletic facilities that people wanted a place to walk. They wanted um, a dog park. Uh, they wanted really more of just a natural environment along with athletic fields. But really, the 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 ideas that captivated the audience or the the, the, the community the most was definitely the dog park <laughs> and um, the trails. And that's exactly what they're going to get. Um, the Tuscora Park Foundation then uh, applies to Clean Ohio for a grant. And through uh, you know a partnership that probably ranks up there with me and John, the city of New Philly and the Tuscora <laughs> Park Foundation have been able to um, obtain a grant for $1.5 million for a project that is um, roughly a $2 million project. And the city of New Philadelphia is uh, you know, led through, through Joel Day clearly has made this happen along with our foundation. And um, it's just worked out very well. And for anybody that followed it, they kind of saw the story unfold as the Tuscora Park Foundation was born out of the need for this grant, like you said, that partnership. But what I'm wondering is, in the future, I mean, how does that get utilized? And you wonder, the park? Is there, are there more ways beyond? I mean, Oh, yeah, course, sure, the foundation. The um, Ryan, there's actually got to take a little bit of exception with what you said in that the foundation came about for the furtherance of the park, but it, we never envisioned that it would be this critical okay. for the development of the park. Mm-hmm. Um, it was our goal to raise funds to have some money on hand for those necessities 
I don't know that any of us actually envisioned that we would be seeking one point five million dollars through right. this foundation. Well, that's my best and understanding. Yeah, yeah it, I this, it that, that came about um, secondary, and it has been uh, truly f- very fortunate that we had that formed at the yeah. time. Um, <laughs> the uh, the park itself is one that forever in the at least in the area that's being developed currently is to remain uh green it's it's a passive recreation area we will not be able to we are going to preserve the wooded area we are Mm -hmm. preserving really nature in that area it's not to say that other aspects of the south side park couldn't be used in the future for athletic purposes but the but the portion is being developed right now um, should look the same indefinitely because that's our um, our objective is to keep it green and keep it the way that the people wanted to see it used for trails, for dogs, for enjoying nature. 